So this is also one thing that I recognize myself in, the monolingual work towards ontologies and much more information structuring. But now we also have another reality, so I welcome Tamas Dora Maria from Hungary. I was brave enough for the association we sent uh, a protest to the Hungarian Department of Education when there was a threat of stopping terminology training in Hungary. I used the Brussels Declaration. It, I got an answer from the Minister of Education who dismissed the whole thing. This is not an official document, I won't bother. But I think the situation is better again in Hungary, so I, I'm, I'm very happy to, to invite Dora here, and the floor is yours, on, on Hungarian legal terminology. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here. Um, thank you for inviting me and giving me the floor. My aim is to present the latest trends and achievements in Hungary to my roles of senior, uh, senior terminologist at the company of the LTD, senior lecturer at Utvers Lorand University, and member of the research group led by Argota Fodisch. Let me start my presentation with a brief overview. Drawing on my experience, I, I will try to summarize the conclusions of the work done recently in Hungary by presenting of the LTD, describing common projects with university, including publications. Finally, I will discuss the role of the terminologist in this environment. <clears throat> Let me introduce to you briefly the Hungarian office for translation and attestation LTD in abbreviated form of the. Our company has a long history. As you can see from the slide, it was founded in 1869 and it's celebrating its 150th anniversary next year. It is a fully state-owned company, owner rights being exercised by the Minister of Justice. It is headquartered in Budapest with 27 provincial offices. The company has service obligations based on law, so it has to cover all, uh, all the territory of the Hungarian state. It uh, possesses relevant ISO certifications. The company works in a total of 46 languages, handles 300 orders a day, has 150 employees, including 12 internal revisers and four terminologists, in addition, some 500 freelancers. The main activities of, of the LTD are as follows. Providing certified translations, specialized translations, court interpreting. The speci special projects include terminology work, translation of laws, being a supply, supplier of NATO. The types of documents translated, for instance, in the case of certified translations are cert uh, certificates of civil registration services, degrees and diplomas, company documents, judicial, judicial decisions, and laws. Key areas covered are uh, translation services, a central term base and database of documents as means of knowledge transfer, a training center also providing students with the opportunity to gain experience within the framework of the Erasmus Plus program, receiving feedback, advice, and guidance from revisers and terminologists. In this slide, I show you the workflow of OFI LTD. As you can see, the translation process consists of three areas translation, revision, and proofreading. The workflow has recently become more complex. I would like to flag up two elements, namely the database of documents and the term-based use term, which serve to enhance the effectiveness of the process. The term-based use term contains many terms of law and public administration. It started as a project in 2014 but today it has evolved into process management. The software used to hold data is SDL, Shadows Multi Term. The characteristics of use term R is an internal concept-oriented term base, 
with emphasis on equivalence data category, indicating the term status as term, functional equivalent, or term candidate. At the company, all types of terminology of work are performed, ad hoc, text-oriented, domain-oriented terminology work, together with terminology training courses for in-house experts. Our aims are to compile a reliable database of terms and to contribute to the harmonization of national legal terms. The domains were elaborated within the framework of the USTEM Plus project, which started in January 2017 and ran until June 2018. The journey started with the terms of titles and uh, used in public administration, continued with terms extracted from official law translations and terms of civil registration services and ended with the terms of the fundamental law of Hungary. In total, 13,000 terms. Uh, okay, <laughs> I was, I was. Okay, yes. In this slide, I show you an example. The end contains the data of the term fundamental law of Hungary. We do not use basic law in English for the term in order not to confuse it with the German version, although Grundgesetz is used as a functional equivalent in German. <laughs> Why is standardization so important for us? To get to the answer, we need to first analyze the characteristics of legal term. Characteristics of legal terms are up-to-dateness, verbality, clarity, but adaptability, system attachment to juridical systems, branches of law and single laws, country-specific concepts, and the neutrality of EU legal terms apply uh, for 28 legal systems. In the case of uh, conveying Hungarian legal terms in English, we have to face increased difficulties. Of course, the differences between Roman uh, civil law and common law, unsure reference points, many language users, official language status in many countries, and polycentrism, no unified British or American law. This leads to the following consequences. Numerous var variants, different preferences at organizations, and time-consuming search for legal terms. Um, I have here two tables uh, which illustrate the above. The terms analyzed are the terms of courts in English and in German. And, uh, and as you can see from the slide, uh, we have a lot of equivalents for the Hungarian uh, courts. And uh, this situation requires standardization. For instance, in the case of Curia, we can use Supreme Court as functional equivalent or Curia as a new variant. Um, okay. Let's move on to the common projects with the university. Let's continue with a short history of our department to have a broader overview it's worth mentioning the main milestones of our activities. These are the following. Firstly, our department was founded in 1973, and this year marks its 45th anniversary. In 2009, we started to introduce terminology seminars, and in 2012, introductory courses to terminology and theory. In 2015, we launched our course for translators and terminologists, which one year later was transformed into a distance e-learning course, and, this, and it was the main reason to create an e-book, a textbook for terminology. The collaboration between OFI and the university has borne fruit in various ways. Annual spring conferences, student traineeships, and professional mentoring programs and publications, as you can see from the slide. Let's turn now to the latest trends and achievements in Hungary in the field of terminology. One of these is the volume entitled Modern Translator and Interpreter, with an introductory article 
about terminology, targeting the word of translators and interpreters, first published in Hungarian and then translated into English. The book entitled Introduction to the Terminology of Law through the lens of a terminologist is both experimental and practical, featuring an article about terminology, glossary of national legal terms, concept map, explanatory tables, and original text. This book was edited by Utwisch Lorand University Publishing House primarily as a free online edition. Outstanding language and legal experts from both the university and OFI contributed to the, to the creation of the textbook. This edition is beneficial for academic training and mentoring programs alike. The updated and revised version is in the pipeline with English variants standardized based on the official law translations. This book is written in Hungarian, but the volume entitled Latest Trends in Hungarian Translation Studies published in English for last spring conference contains an article about the background to editing this book and describes the didactic dilemmas related to it. All the mentioned, uh, all the three mentioned volumes are available as free downloadable ebooks. Which are the further novelties beyond publications? It is worth mentioning the recently published law translations in English which were prepared by OFI, revised by the Ministry of Justice, and published in the National Legislation Database. This is an ongoing project. Another important milestone is the Conference about Terminologic Strategy, with important organizers and supervised by Agota Forisch, who is editing a strategic manual from the material to distribute to stakeholders. We also have other good news the restarting of terminology courses led by Agota Forisch at Karola University. And uh, during this period of crisis of cancelling the master course of terminology, fortunately, the post a new postgraduate course started for translation oriented terminologists at Wetterschneid University. And at last but not least, in 2017, we also started a new journal, the Hungarian Legal Language, with the participation of terminologists. Let's move on to the next point, the brief presentation of the experimental ebook on legal terminology. I will show you the structure of the records contained by the ebook. The main data categories of a record are represented in this slide. The compilation of the records is similar but not identical to that of the entries of a term base because of didactic reasons. The core categories are the definition of the Hungarian legal term, the data category equivalents named here as note for translators, describing general and specific problems and strategies related to the concepts. The international overview is in four languages is in four languages and uh, it uh, contains equivalents, mostly in indicating functional equivalents and term candidates. In this slide, I show you uh, two examples of the records of the book with additional information. Um, in the first one, you can see uh, the record of Robert and Taft with an explanatory table, and in the second one, the term public administration with a tree diagram. To conclude my presentation, let's analyze the role of the terminologist in the special Hungarian context. In order to assure legal certainty, we are trying to perform both describing and prescribing terminology, gaining experience in the collaboration with legal experts in various forms, directly and indirectly, on the basis of studies, and uh, understanding, understanding the differences between the legal and terminological approach, for instance, problems of abstraction, <coughs> looking into the typical approaches of experts, for inst instance, the preference of functional equivalence, 
or term candidates, uh, candidates as tendencies. Okay, <laughs> to summarize the mistake, I'm sorry, because there's a picture. Um, yeah, to summarize uh, the aforementioned, we see the role of the terminologist in the special Hungarian context as coordinator, organizer, prescribing terms if necessary, but more a facilitator and disseminator of terminology by assuring knowledge transfer between generations. Eskarik Asko. <laughs> Köszönöm szépen, Dora. Uh, I, I especially tend to pick up on what you said last about the facilitator. That's the word I use now for the terminologist. It's a facilitator that makes people reach consensus or arrive at a conclusion, be it a definition or a term or something else. So I think this is much more than only Hungarian um, experience. It's much more general than that. Questions or comments? Do you have um, the law online uh, in Hungarian? Um, the Hungarian law, yes. And now translations in English. Okay. Yes. In this national legislation database, it's a new thing. Yeah. Some more comments or questions? made me think of the Dutch colleague Marcel Thelen who wrote a very interesting article on, on um, terminology work and translation and then the thing that is in between translation oriented terminology work because this is very often when you do deal with several languages this is what you do you do something in between so I can recommend this article if you haven't read it other questions or comments to Dora I'm really happy that we have some positive news. Yes. So this restarting, a new journal, so it contradicts everything I said this morning. It's a good example, I'm very happy. Yes. <laughs>